Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be unboxing the bag that I think will be the summer bag of the season with you guys. So if you're interested, do keep on watching. For those of you who are new here, my name is Amelia and I do videos on luxury and lifestyle. So if you enjoy this kind of videos, do consider subscribing, click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Ta-da! It's a very big box from Celine and it's going to be a Celine bag obviously. So when we think of summer bags, obviously we will all think about raffia bags because raffia is super in for summer. So in all honesty, I was looking for another raffia bag to add into my collection but I was trying to be very picky about it. So there were a few on my list that didn't make the cut and I'm going to share them with you as well before I unbox this. So the very first one being the Loewe Square Pocket Bag. Basically, it looks like a miniature version of the anagram bag that I have in Raffia. Just that it's a, now a compact size that you can cross body and sling. There is also a little pouch inside. Price point wise, it's really good. I'm going to place the price on the screen below. Um, but yeah, I really really like it. But do I really need another bag that can just fit like my phone essentials? To be frank, I do think that it fits quite a lot. It can fit like two phones if, and you can fit the max phone. I have the iPhone 12 over here and it fits perfectly fine inside. So apart from your phone, you can also put in some cards, put in your keys because of that little pouch thing. So it's actually quite spacious, I would say, for that bag. Uh, and yeah, I really really like it. The other bag that I was eyeing and saw in person was the Prada bucket bag style. So it's a very cute bucket bag. They had a pop-up at ION that I was invited to on the very first day. I mentioned it in a video where I was talking about new bags of the season. I'm going to link it up over here. And I really really like it because the Prada wording is also in raffia. It's very very cute. There are multiple ways of wearing that bag. You can carry it on your shoulder. You can extend the strap to make it a little bit longer. And the strap itself is like leather. And you can cross body it as well. Or you know like just carry it as a top handle. The strap drop on the top handle is also long enough such that you can carry it on your shoulder very comfortably. So I really really like it. It's cute. Although I did mention that I'm not a bucket girl bag. But I must say that I was very tempted by that bucket bag by Prada. It's so so cute. Price point wise I think it's quite expensive like for a raffia bag but in terms of like versatility and how many ways you can wear it I think more or less it's kind of like worth the price itself if you really like that kind of style so that was the two bags that I was eyeing and then I saw this because actually prior to even looking at the other two in person I already saw this bag that I'm going to unbox with you on someone's Instagram page this girl is a personal shopper and I follow her on Instagram and I really really like it so I was like texting my SA because she's also back from maternity. I was like, babe, do you have this bag? I really, really want it. So when it came into store, she texted me and I went down and I got it. So I'm going to share with you today. I'm really, really excited for this bag. So it comes in this big box over here. Nothing too special. It's just a Celine bag. But this is what is special. So it comes in this black dust bag and the bag is like... Not tall enough to fit the entire bag. You can see the handle peeking through. But I'm just going to share with you anyways. <laughs> oh my god, it's so so pretty. So this is the Celine Raffia bag, I call it. I'm not even sure if there's a particular name for this bag. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the receipt for you. Oh, okay. So this bag is called the Kabash Ron bag, like Ron as in R-O-N-D, in case you're interested. So it looks like that. It's so cute. Oh my god, I love it so much. I think it's because it kind of resembles my Ava bag. So I purposely brought my Ava to show you in terms of sizing. So this is the Ava original sizing and then this is the Raffia bag itself. Uh, obviously the Raffia one is much, much bigger and you can see that the strap drop is different in terms of like this is leather and then this comes through like that like a u-shape and i love it and then there is a leather strap i think 
I think what really sold me on this bag apart from this front design over here is this leather bit over here as well it says a uh, Celine and it's leather and it just fits and it just fits on your shoulder so so nicely I think you kind of like have to like carry it a little bit slanted so that you can see the Celine logo on the raffia but it's so gorgeous I love it oh my god like this is just the perfect like drop for like a shoulder carry bag so just to give you a close-up of the bag there is a leather patch over here which is the Celine Triumph logo it is fully in this like large woven like raffia bit so it's kind of like malleable so you can stuff a lot of things inside so right inside there's also a leather pocket over there that says Celine and you can actually place something inside but I would say that it's rather tight so you can't really place much inside I think they just wanted to give some sort of saline stamping I would say however that there is no magnetic closure over here it is literally just one big gaping hole there is some form of like width on the bottom so that it doesn't taper you know shut at the end as well so that you can put your things properly so I just carried the saline out yesterday I'm just gonna transfer the things over just to show you what fits so I have my key clay as usual It goes inside And then I bought a new pack of mints over here I really like this Eclipse mint So it goes here I have my airpods I have my Bastia I have my Dior lip glow And, and actually I think I have like another Chanel card case I'm not sure where it went but it's probably in the living room or something so I can definitely stuff a little bit more things inside so I'm just gonna show you I have a LV passport case inside that can go in very nicely and then I also have a portable charger and then I also have like a Chanel lipstick that I can put inside so you can actually put a lot of things inside because this opening is so wide I think the pros of having such a wide opening is that you can put things in really easily and take things out really easily as well obviously the con is that you are worried that people can reach into it easily however I would say that because this falls under your shoulder and you're just like you know like pressing it against your body all the time it's highly unlikely people are going to reach in to take anything look at it it's like I feel like there's no way unless you like push it at the back kind of thing but other than that because of the weight of the things inside it actually causes the bag to just sit against your body so I really really like that about it it's great I really really love it and I can't wait to use it for my trip that's coming up i'm heading to japan in like a couple of days and i can't wait so i will be bringing this baby along she's so pretty look at her so now i have like two ava looking bags i would say so this is the new raffia ron bag that i have from celine i would say that if you really really like this style definitely contact your celine sa and let him or her know that you know you really want it because i can see this flying off the shelf so i think only two or three came into store and i picked one up so i'm not sure when the rest are coming <laughs> back into store if you're in singapore I'm not trying to be biased over here but I really think that this is going to be like the raffia bag of the season because it's just so so gorgeous I love it so much I think I'm just gonna carry this out today <laughs> so yes that's all for my video if you enjoyed this video do remember to give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to get to 1k subscribers I was just looking at the analytics that day and I realized that a lot of you are watching the videos but you're not subscribed to it so do remember to subscribe to the channel it will help my channel a lot and I hope to see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>